Key for our start today's MU deck setup guide for Nintendo Switch using Ryu Jinx emulator. If you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a setup guide, which is virtually every day, and it really helps out my channel too. So we're looking at Nintendo Switch again today. I've been covering this several times over different front ends, and today we're doing this for MU deck. So what do we need first? We need a couple of key files. So we're going to need prod.keys, title.keys, and we're going to need the latest Nintendo Switch firmware as a record this video, which is currently 18.1.0. This needs to be in a zip folder. You don't unzip this at all. Next thing we're going to need is some games. So I've got a couple of games for this setup guide. These are in .nsp file extension, but .xci works really well as well. And I'll go into file extensions in a minute. So we're going to open up MU deck. And once we're inside of the MU deck GUI, what we're going to do is go to manage emulators. And from here, if we just scroll down, you're going to come across Ryu Jinx. If I just left click on this one and we're going to install this. Okay, so once that's installed, we're going to press close, and then all I need to do next is just close out of MU deck. Next thing we need to do is establish where the emulator is installed to. Easiest way to do this is just go to your ESDE shortcut. If you right click on that and go down to open file location, you're going to find an emulators folder here, and then you should see Ryu Jinx, which we just installed. It's created a folder. If we go inside of here, now the next thing I'm going to suggest doing is put in your keys as well as your firmware folder into the same folder as this, just so everything's nice and neat and everything's put together for simplicity. So we're just going to move that in there. Next thing we're going to do is actually open up Ryu Jinx. So double left click on the .exe. Okay, first thing you're going to find is keys not found. So we just need to sort this out. So if we just press OK on this, what we need to do then is just go back to your Rio Jinx folder. And those keys, what we're going to do with those is just highlight both of them. I'm pressing Control and then left click on, on each one. Copy. And we're going to put these files into the correct place. So to do this, we're going to go to File, Open Rio Jinx folder. And you're going to find a System folder in here. I'm going to right click and then paste both of those keys. Now, if we close down at Rio Jinx and open it up again. And there we go. The keys is gone. So we no longer need that is in place. Next thing we do need to do is install firmware. To do this, we're going to go to tools, install firmware, install a firmware from XCI or zip. So if we double left click on the firmware, Install firmware 18.1.0. Do you want to continue? Just press yes. Okay, install firmware. Successfully installed. We're going to press OK on this. Next thing we need to do is close out a Rio Jinx. And what we're going to do is just put our Switch games into the correct place. So if I again right click on the ESDE shortcut, open file location. Wherever you've put the location for your games, your ROMs, just double left click on that location and look for Switch. So here's my Switch folder and if we open up systeminfo.txt, we can find out just here which file extensions for Switch games are supported. So we got .nsp and we also got .xci like I was saying just a minute ago. If we just close down out of this, and what we're going to do is drag our games inside of that folder. Okay, if we then go back into the emulators folder and back into Rio Jinx. What we're going to do is add these games into the Rio Jinx library. So to do this, we're going to go to options, settings, and under user interface, game directories, we're going to go to add. And from here, we then need to point this into the location of where our Switch games are. So back into my ESDE folder, into my ROMs folder. And if I then scroll down to find the Switch folder again. And here we go. So what I'm going to do is left click at the top here and right click, copy. 
I'm then going to paste it into this Explorer and press enter and select folder and apply and OK. And here's my games. Next thing we need to do is go to options and we need to ensure start games in full screen mode is selected. I'm also using the Xbox controller. So let's just go through controller configurations. I'm going to go to options again, settings, input. And under input device, I'm going to drop this down and find my Xbox controller. And here we go. It's already mapped out. But if you do need to manually map things out, just left click on each one of these buttons and then correspond it with your controller that you're using. Whilst we're here, we're going to go to graphics and we can mess around with some video settings here. So resolution scale by default is set to 720 by 1080p. We can go up to two times, three times, but like it says, four times resolution isn't recommended. I'm going to just pop this onto 1440p by 2160p. Anti-aliasing, I'm going to put this to FX double A. And I'm going to leave bilinear as the scaling filter for this. Anastrophic filtering, I'm going to crack this up to two times. That's going to add definition to textures and games. Aspect ratio, I'm going to leave this 16 by 9 because Switch Games was designed for that. Under preferred GPU, just make sure you've got your graphics card here selected. And should you find your games are producing a black screen, go to graphics backend and maybe drop this down to OpenGL. So that's all the settings and what we're going to do is go to apply and OK. Now let's close down out of Rio Jinx and open up emulation station. OK, so here is Nintendo Switch and my games are listed here. Now I need to scrape some artwork for this. If I press my start button, I'm going to go to scraper, scrape these systems, check Nintendo Switch back. Under account settings, just make sure you've signed up with Screen Scraper and add in your details here. Content settings, I'm going to leave everything checked to get all pieces of artwork possible. I'm then going to go down to start. Okay, so as it says, one game successfully scraped, one game skipped. So what I need to do in this case is actually just come out of emulation station and I'm going to rename my Sonic game really quick yes so if I go back into my ESD library open file location ROMs back down to switch what I'm going to do just here is just right click on Sonic Colors show more options rename and I'm going to take away everything here and just leave Sonic Colors Ultimate.nsp if I then reopen up ESDE and go back to switch as we can see i've now got a better name for this so again go to scraper and we're going to go to scrape these systems nintendo switch and i'm going to go to scrape this again and here we go that problem is now solved okay next thing we need to do within emulation station is just make sure that ryu jinx is to emulator selected so i'm going to go to main menu other settings alternative emulators and here's nintendo switch so i'm going to obviously use Rio Jinx standalone if i press b to come out and we're going to open up the game Okay, and whilst we're in game if i press the escape button i can then use the options from here as well so let's just say, for example, you're playing a game which might need Joy-Cons. What we're going to do is go to Options, Settings, and under Input, we'll find Controller Type just there in the end. So what we can do is actually swap between Pro Controller and Joy-Cons. But I'm going to use Pro Controller for this, and Apply, and OK. And we also need to put this back into full screen mode. Mm -hmm.
Okay, as you can see, everything's working fine, and that slightly lags a little. Just remember that Nintendo Switch games works on something called shaders. So you play a game through once, and generally it's going to lag a little, but on your second time around, that problem should go away. And just remember, if you've got a lower-end computer, then increasing your graphics settings is also going to potentially cause lag as well. Now, whilst I'm here, if you've got DLC or you've got update content for your games, so to add DLC and update, updates to your games just go back into your directory for emulation station and if you go into emulators again down to Rio Jinx open up the emulator and to add DLC what we do is say right click on Super Mario Odyssey and from here you can go down to manage DLC and then you can go to add your DLC file here just double left click on it and that will add it to the game and that's it for today's MU Deck and Nintendo Switch Rio Drinks Emulator Setup Guide. So if you're new to MU Deck and you want to explore it a little bit more, check out my playlist. I'll leave the initial setup guide for beginners in my description of this video. So if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.